It's time to see who can catch the most fish with the best finesse. It's Freshwater Fly. All right, welcome back to the Board Game Closet. My name is Jimmy, and today I'm getting to do a preview of Freshwater Fly, which only has a few days left on Kickstarter. So if what you see in this video interests you, then go and back this game right away. They've already doubled their funding goal and they're hitting stretch goals and all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, go online and check it out because what I have, although it is absolutely it's probably one of the best prototypes I've ever received. But even though it looks amazing here, go online to see what things have changed and how it is different uh, because I know some things have changed during the campaign. Anyways, that all aside, the first thing that I want to tell you is that I have a little bit of a bias going into this because I'm a fan of Coldwater Crown, which is Brian's previous game. So when I heard that they were doing a follow-up game, I sent some emails and hoped and crossed my fingers that I could get a copy of this. And so it came in the mail, I played it, and I am a big fan of it already. So I'm going into this preview knowing that I liked his last game, so put all that bias for whatever it is, but I really enjoyed this game. Game. And I think that you're going to like it, especially if you like Coldwater Crown. There's a lot going on in this game, uh, but it's totally different. So don't go into this game expecting to place a worker and pick up a worker. There are no workers in this game. Instead, there are just fish that you're going to be casting out a line to try to catch. And in a very Steffen Feld kind of feel, you get to roll these dice, and then these dice allow you to do actions. So for instance, if I took this three, I could cast my line and try to catch one of these fish that are in the three section. Or instead, I could use this three to maybe rotate my reel around, or I might be able to bump up my finesse a little bit. So finesse is something that you get to use during the game that kind of gives you a little bit of a boost, but every time you use it, it goes down and down. So eventually you're going to have to take one of these die and just use it to bump up your finesse. It doesn't matter the value on the die, you just use it, it bumps you up a couple. The, uh, the other thing that you could do with your finesse is if I had already hooked a fish, and we'll talk about that in a minute, I could use this to rotate my reel around because not only do you have to hook the fish, but now you have to reel, uh, reel the fish in. And so there are three sections, green, black, and yellow. And so the yellow are the hardest to reel in because this little rondelle here, the reel, has to go around once, twice, three times to get this yellow fish into the boat or into your bag and catch him. And so those are the three things that you can do. You can cast your fish, you can get some finesse, or you can reel that puppy in. And so that, those are the three things that you're going to do. But the way that you hook a fish, and I was telling somebody the other day that this game feels incredibly thematic to me. Not just because the this reel looks like this rondel reel is probably the most thematic use of a rondel ever. <laughs> I mean, it fits it absolutely perfect. But not only that, but then they have this mechanism where there are these four cards. One of them has a fish jumping out of the water. That means you hooked it. But then the other three are just you threw the line, it sits on the water, nothing happens. So somebody else is going to shuffle these cards. And then depending on if you had a lure that matched in the row that you're trying to throw, you might get an extra flip. But then you flip over a card, nothing. Flip over another card, there it is. There's a hit. And I mean, as far as a board game can go, this feels very thematic to me. Um, you know, because you don't know. You could you could throw the line out there and they flip over and you hook it on the first time. Or they could flip over three cards and nothing happens. And then the last one. I mean, you can kind of tell it's a one out of four chance, but it's kind of a, I don't know, it's a neat mechanism to see if you're going to get it or not. And then the next mechanism that totally makes sense is if you don't hook the fish, then your line is going to to drift down the river and so you get to drift twice and if you don't catch anything by then then uh, you're you just missed but it's it's very thematic because you could throw your reel maybe I took a five but I don't want 
to hook anything just yet because I really needed this four fish right here, this dolly. And so I'm hoping that nothing bites my lure and I hope that it can drift down the river, which seems very thematic to me. Um, at the end of the game, it's all about set collection. So I'm trying to get uh, sets of cards. The first person to catch seven fish, the first person that gets, or the person who has the most coho fish. And then one cool thing is that every person on the bottom of their board has different end, end game points. So depending on which one you get at the beginning, we'll tell you how what fish you're trying to get. And we're all going after different things or maybe similar things. And so I just thought that that was really neat the way that they did that. Um, so all in all, um, go online, go to the Kickstarter page. There's a lot of other people that show you way more than I did and talk a lot more about this. But I just wanted to enthusiastically tell you how much I love this game, especially because of the theme and uh, the artwork, production value. It's all incredible. Probably the best prototype version I've ever gotten. It's just incredible. If I got to keep this, I wish that I could keep this. I would be so happy because it's really, really nice. So anyways, uh, go online, check it out. They didn't pay me for this preview. I'm the guy that emailed them and said, please send it to me because I want to check it out. So take that for what you will. And um, to end this, I wanted to say, post in the comments if, I, if this video in any way helped you make a decision on buying this game or backing this game. I would love to know that. And I appreciate any of your comments questions put them down there and I'll answer them so anyways thanks for watching we'll see you next time on the board game closet